Hi everyone, I'm Ajit Khan and in this video we are going to learn about ATCD database and how to take its backup and how to restore it. This is yet another video about certified Kubernetes administrator exam and in this series we are covering all possible questions that will come in the exam and the probability of this question is more than 90% fully and if you are able to do it on your own you will definitely clear the exam and with very good marks so I suggest you to watch my previous video if you haven't and in this particular video we are going to talk about ETCD database we will see basics of it and we will discuss the most important question that can come in the exam that is about the backup and restore of the database so let's get started First thing is what is etcd? So etcd is also pronounced as etcd. etcd is a database in Kubernetes. It is a key value pair kind of database and it stores information about Kubernetes cluster. So in this video we are going to see what is etcd database and how to take backup of etcd. In this video we are going to see what is etcd database and how to take backup of etcd. Along with that we will also restore etcd database and then we will cover some tips about CK exam covering etcd etcd topic so etcd is a reliable key value store it is simple secure and fast etcd database store information in key value format etcd port listens on 2379 port by default you can change it but this is the default port and you should remember this port number in the exam because sometimes there could be a question in which etcd is not working or you know it's listening on some other port so you might need to fix the port number when you run kubectl command the kubectl command gets the response from etcd database etcd database stores information about the cluster nodes pods config secrets accounts roles or role binding etc so this is the basic of etcd now we are going to see how to take backup of etcd database and restore it so let's continue on question number 13 that is about taking etcd database backup and to restore it so the question says take a backup of etcd database and save it to slash opd slash etcd hyphen backup dot db file so this is the path in the file name that has been given to us we need to save the database to this one and then we need to restore it and the weightage of this question is 11% so this carries quite a high weightage and I suggest you to please practice this one in order to get this one done smoothly in the exam so this is my playground where I am on control plane for this I have set up my own small Kubernetes cluster with etcd if you want to practice this one you can have your own cluster set up otherwise you can just follow along with me and see the commands and try to practice those commands or try to follow along and learn these steps so let us go to documentation that is kubectl cheat sheet and here we will complete the auto completion first so i'm just running these commands from cheat sheet and we are making alias of kubectl and let us see if it works k get n it is showing us namespaces so it works now we need to take the backup of etcd cluster and store it in slash opd let us go to documentation and here i'm going to look for etcd ctl so etcd ctl is the command line tool to interact with etcd so here we will open the very first link and here we are going to find out backup and etcd cluster. So etcd ctl have different version and we are going to use etcd ctl version 3 and to set the version 3 the command is you need to export a variable that is etcd ctl underscore api and set the value to 3 and the command will be etcd ctl hyphen hyphen endpoint and then we need to provide the endpoint and then snapshot save snapshot db so this is the command right now i am just commenting it out and we are going to find out the endpoints let us see the help section and here we need to have ca cert and cert here we need certificates so let us see where are these certificates let us get the file etcd kubernetes manifest etcd.yml so yml file will have all the information and as you can see we got all the file that is cert file key file everything is here and all these things we can provide in the etcd ctl command to take the backup if you go inside the etcd.yml file here we can find the endpoint too now let us use that command again and here we will put all the values that is required in place of endpoint we are going to say 127.0.0.1 colon 2379 that is the port of etcd and then instead of snapshot db we need to provide slash opt slash dcd backup dot db 
Now we need to provide ESRT file which is present here. I'm just gonna copy this and put it here. And another option we need to provide is cert file. We have cert file here. Let's copy this. And next thing we need to provide the key. The key file is this one. So copy this one and then hit enter. And as you can see, backup is saved in slash opt slash etcd backup.db. This is the file. So this is how you can take the backup of CD database. So now we have taken the backup. It's time to restore it. Now we are going to restore it in a different directory. Then we are going to change the hcd config. The command used will be hcdctl hyphen hyphen data hyphen dir slash var slash lib slash etcd backup because this is the directory where we will be putting the db file that we are restoring. And then we are saying snapshot restore and we are specifying the backup that we just took. So this is the command. Let's run this. And as you can see, it's successful now. Now this is a different data directory where we have restored it. Now we need to edit etcd configuration and point the data directory of etcd to this new directory that is where lib etcd backup. So let us go inside the directory where lib and then do a ls and here is our backup file that is etcd backup and we have etcd directory as well. Let us go inside slash etc slash kubernetes manifest and here we need to edit the file etcd.yml. Let's edit etcd.yml file and here look for the data directory path. Let us go down and here as you can see we have the host path set to varlib etcd. We need to change this to etcd hyphen backup because we have restored it to that directory. So this is what we are going to put. Let us save this file and as soon as we save it's gonna apply this. So this is how you can restore the CD database by taking the backup. This is going to be one of the important questions in the exam. So please practice it and also practice the questions that we have covered before. We are going to publish more videos soon. So stay subscribed, like the video. Thanks for watching.